Let's flip the script here, and Frank, let's look at the Cubs because their pitching outside of John Lester has not been good, okay? You, Darvish, uh, they kind of expected him back this weekend. He goes out and feels something in the bullpen. His triceps bug him. They call it off. Now we don't know when he's coming back. You, Darvish, now, now what does that mean for the Cubs going forward? But this is nothing new. He had these problems in Texas. He won a deal once with the Dodgers last year. They got to keep him healthy somehow, but they're going to regret losing Jake Arrieta because Jake Arrieta led his pitching staff but when you get a free agent in, you just don't know his personality. And right now they're seeing setback after setback. They need his arm. They need a power arm. I don't know what they're going to do. I think they need to make a move at the deadline just for security. I agree, Frank. And a couple things there. Number one, when you sign a free agent to this type of a contract, you are obviously choosing him over your other options. You've invested all this money in him. You at least have to have him be on the mound and take the ball. Now you're in a spot where you may have to invest even more resources in a trade for a starting pitcher, which hurts what you could do to help your lineup if it's a Manny Machado idea or somebody else. But you think about the Cubs in general. They had to give up Glaber Torres in 2016 for Chapman. They gave up the big package to get Jose Quintana last year. Mm -hmm. They've given a lot of capital away to help their team in trades the last couple of years. You start to wonder how much they have left and how impactful of a move can they even make based on the prospects they start. Frank, I don't think they can think offense at the tree. Do you? I mean, do no, you? No, not at all. I mean, I don't think they can. I just think way. the dynasty's now, the window is now. They got to win now, so go out and make the move that gets you over the top, especially if you're trying to win another World I'm Series. with you. I think they need help there. We'll see if the Cubs and Theo Epstein go and get that. Two quick things. First of all, Sandy Alderson, uh, best wishes to him, who is a good man battling cancer, and he steps away for a little bit. That's why Rico's in charge. But let's talk about the Mets and these two stud pitchers. Frank, Mets are a disaster right now. They are long gone. What about their pitchers in Syndergaard and DeGrom? Do you think they're on the move? Should they put them on the move? Either make one move, sign DeGrom, make him a career Met. If not, Trade this guy for future franchise pieces. He's 30 years old. You can get a haul for him right now because this guy's a game changer. It could help somebody win a World Series right now. Bottom line is, if you're not going to sign him, I would trade him because you can get a haul. Syndergaard, you can make a trade for him, but it's going to be buyer's beware because he's averaging about 15 starts a season. Right. Uh, when he's out there, he's lights out. But the bottom line is you can't win in the tub. I don't know if the haul is going to be the same with Syndergaard, but I would take a team like the Chicago White Sox who has so many expendable pieces, trade and get both of them. Give them what they need, their franchise pieces, and get you two aces at the top of your lineup and keep the ones that you want in Chicago because we know who they are. JP, I think Frank's trying I to get the White Sox back in it. I'm He's just trying to tell you. First of all, <laughs> Frank is replacing me as the insider, by the way, because his, his ideas are better than mine. But it is a great idea because sometimes, Frank, we talk so much about the deadline, buyers and sellers. It's not a binary situation here because if you're a team like the White Sox building for the future, these are future pieces. Mm -hmm. And if you think you can win in 2020 in the, in the AL Center, which I think the White Sox can, by the way, then DeGrom fits that window. Right. So that's why teams that we're not thinking about as being real active buyers can play on these two pitchers, Syndergaard and DeGrom. That being said, I checked with a Mets source today and was told we're going to have to be overwhelmed to move to Grom in particular, and I understand that. And you think about it, Kevin, and, and the reason why Frank's idea is so great is that the traditional buyers out there, he's not going to get traded to the Yankees unless no. something really no extraordinary way. happens. Same thing in division with the Braves and the Phillies. So it really cuts no. down the number of viable sell or buyers rather to make that trade for Milwaukee. DeGrom. Milwaukee is one possibility. I think Milwaukee, they could have gotten Quintana last year. They did not. This is their second chance to make that impact long-term rotation. Frank, to piggyback off your point, if I'm the Mets who mm -hmm. need uh, just a facelift, I trade Syndergaard, get as much as you can, and then I sign the ground tool to a deal. Now, he's got two more years under control. Right. But you, you kind of tell the fans, hey, look, we want to win, but we got to change this up a little bit. But uh, I like that idea, too. We'll see. We'll see what happens.